the best question go first? Uh oh, oh no. Really, okay, like board down. Like yeah. <laughs> it's obvious. It's obvious that, that um, your character and the commander's character have this conflict going on. And he was bringing up the fact that obviously your characters never go on higher in the food chain now because there's no food chain left. Um, and we've got the Russians who have sort of gone rogue. They're no longer really attached to their government. Would you ever lead a mutiny? Do you think? <laughs> You can be captain if there's no other captain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's not necessary to consider that question. Certainly in the early going of this show. Mutiny is out of the question. We have to save the world first. So the dynamic between Slattery and Chandler is one of peers among peers. Mutual respect. Obviously, the captain has the final say. And unless Slattery sees him doing something that's going to endanger the entire mission, he's going to—he's with him, as far as we know. I haven't written the Bible on this show. I'm just a hired gun at this juncture. Have they told me where it's going? A little bit. But I, I think that 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 is really dangerous word to bring into the equation and it, it, it would it changes so many things that uh, I, I won't I wouldn't approach it's certainly that. not in his character no. to want to do that just to get command of the ship that's just not in the DNA of the character um, on the other hand um, as he said if he sees the captain going in a direction that he really doesn't agree with, he's go he is not going to keep his mouth shut. He is going to deal with it. It's Where, his what, duty. And what, it's his duty to do that. It's his duty to the, all the 260 people below him as much as he has a duty to, to try to execute the mission that the captain sets. So, and the captain would think less of him if he didn't, if he backed off from that. He needs that sounding board. That's why he convenes... You'll see in the next episode when Chandler really gets himself into a pickle. They're sitting there in the captain's cabin like Jack and Bobby Kennedy at the Cuban Missile Crisis. You know, what are we going to do? How are we going to handle this? Otherwise, he's completely alone. He needs that sounding board, and he expects him to, to speak up. Now, where it goes in the future, you know, shows evolve, and things get higher and higher stakes, and you're doing your storytelling right. So is it possible that that could happen down the line? Sure. <laughs> sure or no, we'll see. Speaking of the future, congrats on season two. Thank you. And uh, do you already have bits and pieces of that mapped out? Well, we end season one with the series sort of lots of different strands in the air and kind of really the whole show sort of turned on its head and headed in a, in a vastly new direction. So you can, you can imagine that where we end, those storylines need to be picked up and played out and worked through. So that is that is set. So, um, you know, you, you plan ahead in a generalized way, and then you allow for the creative process when you get together with the writers and the writers and the start writing the scripts for you to discover um, along the way. And that's the, that's the fun, fluid part of writing and television. Well, it's a very serious show. Do you have fun on the set and you're not being all serious and saving the world? Oh, yeah. We have, we have, he's the Joker. Yeah, wow. Well, we have several Jokers on the set, and it's, uh, it's since it is such heavy subject matter, you have to keep it a little bit light in between takes, or at least in between setups. Um, and we have a great, great group of people who work hard, they show up on time, they know their stuff, and it's, everyone's in it for the long haul. All the cliches. I feel like I'm talking like a hockey player, you know. Oh yeah, we all just uh, we are committed to the team effort, and uh, we need to score some goals, and uh, we'll hopefully at the end of 60 minutes have a victory. <laughs> That's not cliches, but we really have we really have this team effort. Everyone appreciates the job for what it is. They have it. Going to make the most of it. It was the hardest show that anyone had ever worked on. Cast, writers, crew, for sure, the hardest. It's been shooting on the Navy ship, and, and, and we had to shoot many of the episodes out of order and long hours, and 
long, you know, big scenes with nine people in them, and every, you know, every time you do a scene that has three lines, but you have nine people to react to it, you have to shoot all of them. And there's 130 uh, scenes per per script on average, and a typical show is like 45 or 50. That takes a lot of time, and so everyone was really, really had to work together or it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have So we're doing three scenes from episode nine, three scenes from episode four, and, an ep and a scene from episode two. To now? Today, right. Today? Okay. Where was I that day? And, and the continuity uh, was are you, powerful. Are you keeping notes and like what, sort of where your head is at in these particular scenes? Or how tried, you... tried as much as we could. Fortunately, we had very organized creators in charge and letting us know where we were that particular day, which beats we were playing, where we were the scene before, the moment before became all powerful for us going into the scene. What was my moment before? If we're doing this, this is six weeks ago, how does that play? And uh, so it was, it was a great challenge. Thank you so much.